Hi friends, here in this video, I will be explaining Sigma Comparator. So, let's get started. Now, Sigma Comparator is basically a mechanical comparator. That is, it does not require any external power supply. And here are the parts which I am going to explain first. There is a plunger in this Sigma Comparator. Plunger is in contact with the surface whose roughness or flatness we have to measure. So this is the surface which is to be tested. The plunger is in contact with it. Then we have the slit washer over here. Then plunger is having a groove as we can see here. This groove has contact with the knife edge as we can see here. This is the knife edge in contact with the plunger at this location. There is also an adjusting screw by the help of which we can adjust the height or keep this knife edge in contact with this block which is the movable block. So here there are two blocks. One is the fixed block which is fixed over here and another is this movable block. Both the blocks fixed and movable are connected with the help of a strip which is this cross strip which I am showing here. Now this cross strip is made up of an elastic material that is when the force is applied this strip will get deformed and when the force is removed it will return back to its original position. Then between the fixed block and the knife edge there is a small distance x which is the gap in between. Then after that the strip which is connected connecting the fixed and movable block along with that to the movable block there is an arm which is connected and it is in the shape of the letter Y. So this is called as the Y arm of length capital L. So here is the Y arm. Y arm is connected or it is in contact with this drum as we can see here it is circular in shape. So here we have this drum or pulley. The pulley radius is denoted as it is small r the pulley radius. So when the Y arm would be moving it would be rotating this drum. At the same time this drum is connected to a pointer as can be seen here. So here there is a pointer and this pointer will give us the deflection on the scale and once we have understood the construction details here I will explain the functioning of this sigma comparator that is what happens over here is suppose I will take an example that when the plunger is moving down and the movement of this plunger depends upon the type of surface so if it is moving down here there is a groove in which the knife edge is in contact so this knife edge would also try to move down and when it moves down it exerts a force on this strip or we can say the moving block so a small amount of force on this moving block will try to tilt this moving block because this strip which is in the form of a plus sign that is an elastic strip and here it being a movable block another is the fixed block so about the fixed block the movable block would be moving in the downward direction and through this the deflection is transferred to the Y arm and as we can see with the help of these dotted lines that the Y arm has been moved from its initial position and when the Y arm moves it just rubs past the drum or the pulley and in short it tries to rotate this drum and when the drum is rotating at the same time it is connected to the pointer so the pointer starts moving. And once the pointer moves, that is for example, suppose if it is on zero, if the pointer is pointing on zero, it means the surface is exactly flat. That is the surface under test is perfectly flat surface. But if the pointer starts moving or starts deflecting, it means the surface under test is, it is not exactly flat, but it is a rough surface. So with the help of the sigma comparator, we can also say it is not a measuring device. Basically, it is a gauge which just gives us the, an idea whether the surface is exactly flat or rough 
it means it is not going to give us a proper reading the deflection of the pointer will help us to understand the difference in the surface and after this since it is a mechanical device and here we are using various elements a small amount of deflection at of the surface which is detected at this plunger would be transferred into huge movement of the pointer and that transfer of small amount of deflection into huge amount of movement of the pointer is called as magnification so magnification for sigma comparator is given by the formula denoted by capital M So this is the formula of magnification where capital L is the length of the Y arm, small l is the length of this pointer, next X is the distance between the fixed block and this knife edge, capital R is the radius of this drum pulley denoted by capital R and now if suppose we want to increase the magnification. If we increase the magnification, we can easily see that magnification is directly proportional to capital L. Capital L means the distance or the length of Y arm. So if we increase the length of Y arm, then the magnification increases. Next, magnification is also directly proportional to small l, that is the length of the pointer. It means in order to get big or huge amount of magnification if we increase the length of the pointer the magnification increases that is the reading becomes more readable to us next magnification is inversely proportional to the distance x it means if we keep this distance small then magnification will increase that is x should be kept small and magnification increases that is this knife edge should be closer to the fixed block then magnification is also inversely proportional to the radius of the drum of the pulley it means if we decrease the radius of the drum pulley that is having a smaller drum here magnification increases so in short that was an explanation regarding the sigma comparator which is a mechanical type of comparator doesn't require any external power source and it is more rigid or strong when we compare it with the other types of comparators at the end if you all find my videos helpful you can like share comment and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends thanks for watching